Hail, Pandawans and journeymen walking that illustrated path. A glorious Sunday evening to you all. I'm going to share some of the art I did this morning. And all of this art is based on a book I wrote, came out in 2017, I believe, called The Last Winter. And basically, if you are fans of Norse mythology and the whole the, the, the stories and all that about Ragnarok, this is what this, this book was based on. But it was also based on many other things, and I'm going to blather about that to you now. <laughs> so the origins of this story, uh, there's, there's a few. So I would read uh, bedtime stories to my daughter, and we would usually take turns at reading. So she would read a chapter, or I would read a chapter, or we'd you know, break it up somehow. Well, I don't remember how we got to it, but I had this book on Norse mythology and all the tales of Odin and Thor and Loki and their adventures, you know, fighting giants and things like that. Well, we would be reading that story, and so she was you know, sitting in her bed. She was surrounded by you know, her menagerie of various stuffed animals and she would read these old Norse stories, and it was, <laughs> it was great trying to, you know, have a, a, a kid who's learning how to read or, you know, you know, third grade reading level, whatever it is, trying to pronounce some of these Norse names, you know, Hjungnir and all, you know, H-N-I-G-R, Hjungnir. It's like just completely difficult uh, for someone who's, you know, first of all, not familiar with, with English yet, but, you know. Also, you know, reading names that are from, you know, mythological origins and things like that. So we would be reading it and, you know, it was it was really fun, you know, reading these old stories and hearing them told through, you know, the voice of my daughter and things like that. Well, that's one of the origins. Um, the other origin, too, was when I was I was in a black metal phase for a while. Right. All the the bands from the 90s, like, you know, Mayhem and, and Immortal and Dark Throne and things like that. Well, there was a particular band that I absolutely loved called Immortal, and they would wear what is called corpse paint, right? And it was basically, they had, it looked like Kiss makeup, but a little bit more spooky and scary. Well, there was this one band in particular called Immortal, and their main singer uh, and, you know, music writer and all that sort of, I, I think he even played bass and drums on a lot of the albums, and, you know, they toured with a, a, a bass player, but... His name was Abat, and like a bat? No, it's like A B A or you know two A B B A T H of Abath, right? Like Abba, but with a th at the end, <laughs> a bed, a bath, a beyond. Um, but basically, they would wear this corpse paint, and he had it kind of two triangle kind of shapes covering his eyes, white face, and they wear this you know black leather, and they have spikes and all that, and they're in the in the mountains playing and they're talking about their mystical realm of Blashirk and, you know, playing all their songs were, you know, grim and frostbitten kingdoms and, you know, at the heart of winter and all these cool names. Well, as I was looking at one of their videos, you know, with the way their makeup was black and white, you know, with the spots over the eyes, they looked like pandas. And I was laughing. I'm like, these look like Viking pandas. And that's uh, kind of <laughs> where a lot of the vision of this came in. You know, as you know, one of my favorite creations that I, uh, that I worked on are the Pandaren in World of Warcraft at my glorious day job. Well, the Pandaren, they became, you know, originally it was the Pandaren were just a, a picture series that I did for a few Christmases where I would draw, you know, these pandas in, you know, either Japanese kimono, later on more in Chinese garb. Uh, but I would do these images for my family and it would see usually, you know, like this the panda father with his kids teaching them how to use swords or they're, you know, eating dinner or things like that. And it was, you know, a family thing. Well, I had given a couple of these pictures to some of my, my friends at work and they really liked them. And someone ended up making a desktop out of it. And then eventually uh, we ended up using it as an April Fool's joke for Warcraft 3. It was like one of the, you know, the new army that's coming out for Warcraft 3. And, you know, it was an April Fool's joke. And it was funny because everyone was like, oh, these are cool. And we're like, oh, shoot. <laughs> I was going to curse there. But I'm trying to keep it PG. Um, so we ended up incorporating what we ended up calling the Pandaren 
into Warcraft. So for Christmas, I wasn't, you know, really wanting to do something that was, you know, work related for my Christmas picture. So I did this one picture uh, of like this sort of Nordic panda Viking guy sitting on a throne. He had like a, a like one of his daughters sitting down next to him at his side. He had this giant bulldog. You know, I had a bulldog. Um, and I did that as a Christmas picture. And all of a sudden, combined the Christmas picture with the idea of <laughs> Viking pandas. I know it's silly. Uh, and reading Norse mythology with my daughter. That's how the story, The Last Winter, came up. And I, you know, I worked on this story for a few years. It eventually got published. And, uh, and, and, you know, just within the last, uh, month or so last winter now is, uh, an audio book. It's on audible now. It should be on iTunes as well. I'll put the links down below for the actual book for last winter. Uh, you can get it on Kindle. Um, you can get it, you know, hardcover and I'll put the link for the audio, uh, audible book too. I don't know if I have one for the, uh, iTunes yet, but so yeah, I'll, I'll include those in the, uh, in the description below and, and hail hail to uh the cybrarian who is this uh vein studios is the per, the people who put together the audiobook but i got introduced to the cybrarian because i would listen to audiobooks when i'm drawing and i would always look up robert e howard and he and the cybrarian has a ton of books on uh, conan of uh, solomon kane some of robert e howard's you know just coolest characters and the idea came to me i'm like well I can do last winter as an, an audio book. And so I asked, I asked the library and they jumped they, they full on just nailed it. I mean, it's got killer voice acting. It's got music, sound effects and all that, that the, the, the thing clocks in at like almost six and a half hours. Uh, it's like a 250 something page book, illustrated novel kind of novella, I guess, but they did uh, such a fantastic job. So I've been listening to that on Audible now. I had heard it, you know, I had heard it chapter by chapter, but never all at once. It was so awesome. Super proud of how it came out. And I love being able to sort of have that where I can listen with to the story now with my daughter. We used to read this story after we did the Norse mythology and I had the, the drafts of the book. We would read it together and now we can listen to it together. So it's just awesome how all that came together. So... Thank you, Cyberian, and all that for, for all, the, all the awesome work you guys did on it. Um, yeah, so I mean, I, a background, if you guys want to know the origins of the Pandaren, if you hadn't heard it, I got, uh, let's see, me and my buddies, we were out in the desert. You know, we like to go out uh, hunting, shooting, camping, you know, have a big old fire and, you know, cooking all the stuff. Great, great, great times. Well, we were hanging out by uh, the fire, and it was, this was like a, you know, 10 alarm fire. This thing was huge and I was getting all hot and sweaty and, you know, in the desert, it gets pretty cold at night. Anyways. So we were there and my buddy was like, I got up and I left the fire and, you know, we had had a few adult beverages, you know, some, uh, some tasty root beers, if you will. And my buddy was like yelling to me cause I went over, you know, got out outside of the fire. That's how I live my life outside the fire. Um, <laughs> he's like, dude, what are you doing, man? You're like, one of them panda bears, man. And I look at him, I'm like, what the hell are you talking about? He's like, you know, the panda bears in the cold. Oh, you, you mean polar bears? He's like, yeah, polar bear, panda bear, whatever. So that's that got me the nickname uh, panda, right? So when I went and did that Christmas picture, I made a anthropomorphic panda. And uh, so that's how, you know, and then I did the artwork for Christmas and, it, you know, it became part of the, the, the blizzard uh world. But that's how the Pandaren started. And so, you know, after that, that's when the, uh, the Pandir is what I call these guys, the Viking pandas. So that's how that all, you know, all got started. And then it made me, you know, I wrote the book and now the audio book. So to speak a little bit about what you see here. So right now I'm working on what is what's called one of the firekin. They're basically smaller, um, fire giants. And in the last winter, it's like a very Ragnarok, situation where what Ragnarok is like the end of the, the, the God, the time of the gods for people who aren't familiar. Um, so what I'm working on here, that's one of the Pandir. They're basically these sort of Norse inspired, uh, pandas 
and uh, there's you know multiple clans and they're all fractured and fighting. But the giantess, there's four giants in the world, and the giantess Spriggan, who is the one who created the Pandir, she's near immortal. But in, in this isn't spoilers; it's in the beginning, like first pages of the book. You know, her time is ending now, and the island of Misgard, where all the Pandir live is now going to be susceptible from attacks from her brothers, Lord Winter and King Sumir, the fire giant and the frost giant. Um, and so that's basically the story, how this small island, you know, surrounded by ice and fire, and how do they stand against, you know, the brothers of frost and fire. And it's, it's a really, you know, it's a simple, it's the first time I really wrote anything. So... You know, the, I still like the book so much, but, it, you know, it's probably a bit mellifluous and, you know, over descriptive on things. But, you know, that's fine. You, you, you live and learn. <laughs> but it's still listening to it was such a fun, fun listen. And I'm still uh, just drawing this today brought me back seeing some of these old friends. What we see here now is what's called a berserk. And they are this long forgotten clan on the island of Misgard. And they're basically pure white with blue eyes and, you know, sort of based off of polar bears, um, where the pandir are more, you know, sort of, uh, what do you call it? Uh, like pan, like pandas. <laughs> so one of the things I'm working on here, I keep going back and forth is I didn't, I didn't like this character cause he had kind of a smirk. See how he's like kind of smirking. And I think I've mentioned this before. I hate smirks. People always draw pictures of their characters and they're smirking and snarky. It's like, get the hell off yourself calm down. <laughs> so when I was working on that one, I had to change it to have more of a snarl. Um, this image right here is one of the, you know, frost giants or frost kin, the smaller ones. They're the servants of Lord Winter. And they're basically just bone and ice. And just the, the frost giants are like the worst in, in the realm. The fire giants are just as bad, but they're not as powerful. Lord Winter is the most powerful of forces. And all the giants each have a sort of a season that they rule over and their names kind of reflect it. So in springtime, that is the time of Spriggan. She's, you know, the first giant, the only giantess, and she created all of her, uh, the, the animals of Misgard and this. And then there's King Sumir, you know, the son of fire, and he rules during the summer times and that's when the world gets hot. And then in the, the fall times, there's the giant, the silent giant named uh, fell. He is the Underlord, and he rules under the realm of Misgard. And then the bringer of the end himself, Lord Winter, he's the, you know, the, the Lord of all Frost Giants, the bringer of the end. But it's a story that you know, I got to hear the audiobook recently, and it made me inspired to want to do some more art in that, in that world. Like, I really love these characters. So if you see that symbol there, the one I'm working on here, that's a symbol for the, and sorry it's jumping around so much, it's a, a speed recording, so I, I think I took about two hours today, but it's a symbol uh, of the Hammerheart, which is one of the clans of Misgard, and where instead of the dark hair, they have more of a sort of auburn and reddish hair. Um, so they're one of the more the southern clans near the realms of Fireholm, which is where the giants live. But it, it's been so fun just kind of coming back to this and reliving a world that I had created and, and kind of forgot about because, you know, we create new stuff and we move on. But it was really fun going back to this, this world that I created, not only by myself, but, you know, with, you know, inspired by my daughter, inspired by my creations at the glorious day job. And it was really fun to just kind of revisit some of these things that I had worked on before and, and hadn't really seen in a while. So that's it, Panda Wands. I'm going to leave you with that. Have a glorious Sunday and A, B, C to you all. Always be creating hell.